めっちゃ久しぶりやん。最近どないしてんの？相変わらずやで。そっちは？ぼちぼちやな。まあ頑張ってるで。そうなんや。うちなんか全然あかんわ。なんでな？彼氏と別れてん。え、そうなん？知らんかった。俺やって全然彼女できへんで。付き合おうか。なんでやねん。セブンイレブンいい気分。Welcome to Learn Japanese Pod with me, Alex. And me, Ami. This podcast focuses on teaching you how to speak really natural and fluent Japanese, the kind of Japanese you don't find in your average textbook. And we feature Japanese dialogues recorded by native speakers, that's Ami Sensei, <laughs> which focus on practical day to day situations. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And in today's show, by popular request, we will be teaching you some da, 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 Osaka Ben or Osaka dialect. Ben means dialect in Japanese. I've got so many emails from people asking to do Osaka Ben、really? Ami Sensei. So,、uh, ah. You, yeah, yeah. So, uh, your s c o r i n g is. Hi, Negashimas. And uh, uh, we already talked a little bit about Osaka and its incredible cuisine in a previous podcast. Just look for the podcast entitled How to Eat Takoyaki. I know, ne, just Takoyaki, Tabitako na te kita, ne. Hi. <laughs> we had some、um, a few days ago, actually. Oh, really? Who, who cooked、yes. it? Both of us. Oh, nice. Do you have like the.、Uh, nandatake? Oh, I'm terrible. I forgot the name of the. The te, nani? Tepan. The tepan, yeah. We just call it the takoyaki ki. Takoyaki ki. <laughs> yeah. Takoyaki machine. <laughs> takoyaki machine. No way. How, how,、uh, how often do you eat takoyaki? Um, I mean, maybe once every few months. So not like、nice. too often, but,、um, you know, we crave it. Every once in a while, so you're keeping the Osaka spirit alive, Ami Sensei. Yeah,、That's、represent, <laughs> represent, you know. And when I see takoyaki, I always have happy memories of Osaka. Oh, that's、um, good. But so, yeah,、uh, go check out How to Eat Takoyaki. That was a really fun episode to record.、Mm-hmm. And we, we go into, in, into more depth about the cuisine from Osaka and a, a bit about, you know. Cool stuff to see in Osaka, fun sightseeing spots, and so on. So, go check out how to eat takoyaki. However, in this podcast, we'll be focusing more on the language itself. Now, when I first moved to Japan, I lived in Tokyo and studied standard academic Japanese at university. So, some years later, when I moved to Osaka, I was already pretty fluent in Japanese, but nothing, <laughs> nothing people had prepared me for Osaka Ben. You had no idea. No idea. You know, people say, oh, it's easy. It's just at the end of verbs, instead of wakara nai, they say wakara hen. It's like, no, 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 no. It's <laughs> like, for, for a novice like me, it was almost like a completely different language. I mean,、mm-hmm. obviously, I understood basic things. But the different vocabulary and intonation really threw me off. Yeah. How, however, after a couple of years, decades <laughs> of living there, I eventually got used to the accent. And if you go onto YouTube and have a look at some TV shows with celebrities from Osaka, try to listen out. For the difference in accent and intonation and vocabulary between someone from Tokyo and someone from Osaka. I think,、mm. I think you will notice a difference, even, even if you're a beginner at Japanese. But, you know, go on YouTube and see if you can do that. There, that's your homework for today. Anyway, for me, the biggest difference you'll notice between Tokyo and Osaka, I think, is the people.、Mm-hmm. Because I, I personally find Osaka people to be a little more approachable, a little more. Expressive and easy to get to know. They're very famous for their sense of humor, and a lot of famous comedians actually come from Osaka and the greater Kansai region. Some people say people from Osaka can be a little direct or、mm-hmm. brash in conversation, but personally, 
I, I like it because I know exactly where you are with them. You know exactly what they're thinking. Mm -hmm. In comparison, sometimes I find people from Tokyo to be a little harder to read, maybe a little more reserved or standoffish. Of course, these are huge generalizations that aren't necessarily true on a personal level.、Mm -hmm. But if you ever go to Osaka, I can guarantee you'll have a fun time, right? Hi. Osaka people, they know how to party.、Um, and by the way, I should mention that I started recording Learn Japanese Pod back in 2005. 2005, people! Oh my god. When、gosh. YouTube was barely a thing. So, yeah, yeah, I started the podcast back in 2005, and I was actually living in Osaka City at the time. So, Osaka is the spiritual home of Learn Japanese Pod. Aww. It's the Issei Jingo of Learn Japanese Pod, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> started by my co host at the time, Beb San, who is. She's like the Madonna of Kyobashi, but that's, that, that's a whole other story. <laughs>、um, the other thing I should mention is that some people call Osaka Ben Kansai Ben,、mm -hmm. but Kansai is the larger region that encompasses Kyoto, Nara, Kobe, and other areas as well. But I just wanted to keep this simple and decided to focus just on Osaka Ben.、Mm -hmm. Also, Osaka Ben is the dialect that influences. All the surrounding smaller dialects. So, Osaka Ben is probably the best one to study, I think.、Mm -hmm. And of course, in one podcast, it would be absolutely impossible to teach you everything you'd need to know to understand and speak fluent Osaka Ben, right? However, we'll attempt to give you just a little sampler of what Osaka、mm -hmm. Ben sounds like and some of the more common vocabulary and Typical speech patterns and intonation. Again, think of it as a sampler lesson. We'll also teach you the standard Japanese versions of today's dialogues as well, so you can contrast and compare. And of course, we have a secret weapon in the form of the wonderful Ami Sensei, who is a native of Osaka. Yeah. Yeah. Domo, domo. Yoroshiku onigai itashimasu. Onigai shimasu. めっちゃめっちゃ楽しみ。<笑>楽しみやな。<笑> Ami, was your family originally from in Osaka? So,、um, I moved around quite a bit. Right.、Um, but、um, my, so my dad is from、um, the Tennoji area,、mm. uh, which is like, you know, it's, it's real like fancy now. And like, but back,、um, you know, when he was growing up, there was like nothing. Um, and then my mom is from a smaller town、uh, called Moriguchi. Moriguchi. Which, which I feel is like the, I think it's like the western、mm. like、edge of Osaka. So,、yeah. um, Tenoji is pretty famous. Isn't, isn't there like a Tenoji Dobutsu? Yes, there's a zoo. There's a zoo there, right? Dobutsu. And、um, now it has.、Um, Abe no Harukasu, which is like apparently the tallest building in Japan. Oh, no way, really? Mm hmm. Uh huh. And,、um, you know, shops and restaurants, and like they have like exhibits,、um, mm -mm -mm -mm. you know, art exhibits and like different events.、Um, and、uh, yeah, we got to go last winter, and、uh, yeah, it was nice. Nice. And I know, like, Tenoji, it's, it's a bit of a happening area、um, these days. It's a big, it's a big、um, station and it's a big town now. There's, there's like a huge mall there. So,、mm. yeah. So, if you're in Osaka, it might be worth checking out. And also, there's, you know, loads of cool bars and places to hang out. Tenoji is a fun, fun place. Now, I don't、yeah. know Moriguchi so much. I don't either. I, I、uh, actually have not、uh, been. Oh, okay. Yeah. But、uh, I think it's kind of like the, you know, sort of like the suburbs of Osaka. I have、uh, friends who lived in Tenoji. I, I used to hang out there every now and then when there were parties and things. Yeah. Cool. It's cool.、Um, I used to live in a place called Nakatsu, which is right next to、oh. JR Osaka. By Umeda. Exactly. That's a real convenient spot. You've got Hankyu.、Mm -hmm. um, 
rail line. You've got JR rail line. And There's the a whole bunch subways, uh, subway lines, subway systems, and you've basically got a bunch of department stores and right. hotels and mm -hmm. a million little restaurants right. and bars. It's a really really fun area, and then cutting through that is this big train line. It's like a kamotsu sen. So they're ba basically where JR keep all their cargo trains. And on the mm. other side of that is this very quiet suburb. And that's where I lived. And that's mm. right next to the Skybiru. The Skybiru, which is this oh, like yeah, very... Oh, yeah, Umeda Skybiru. Yeah. And the Umeda Skybiru is this like really modern looking yeah. uh, building with this really cool deck. And you have amazing views of Osaka. I used mm -hmm. to live there. It's really quiet. So okay. during the week, it's like super chill, super quiet. Yeah. But when I want to get crazy and party, I just go over the JR line and go to, you know, some, some of the bars there. But that whole area now is being ripped up. Yeah, I saw. I, I saw last winter. What are they doing? They're turning that into a park. They're uh, making more department stores because you can never have too many department stores in Japan. Nope, nope, never. Lots to see and do. Anyway, Ami Sensei, Hi. what else will our lovely, dear <laughs> listeners hear in this podcast? Okay, so today's podcast will be covering the main dialogue to help you with your spoken Japanese fluency and listening skills. Then we'll answer a couple of listener questions and do some off script conversation in Japanese. That's for you listeners who are intermediate and above. But if you are a beginner, listen anyway, even if you don't pick up everything, as it will be good ear training. And finally, we'll end with, of course, the random phrase of the week. That's where we teach you a funny random phrase to make your Japanese friends laugh and say, Where on earth did you learn that? And then you'll say from this really weird podcast. Yeah, by these two weird people. That's us. <laughs> come, and, come and join <laughs> the weird group. <laughs> yeah. Shh, don't join. tell anyone. Yeah, don't tell anyone. <laughs> In other news, <laughs> finally, we're coming out with a new travel course at the dojo, which is at dojo.learnjapanesepod.com. That's D-O-J-O dot learnjapanesepod.com. It's designed to teach you all the Japanese you need to know to have an amazing trip to Japan. We'll cover a wider range of situations, including asking directions, ordering food, how to use a hot spring, buying bus and plane tickets, how not to get arrested by the police, how to escape from Godzilla when he's attacking Tokyo, all those topics you'd need to know for a trip to Japan. How to fight a samurai. Exactly, how to fight a samurai. Uh, just just apologize and hope he doesn't cut your head off. And I, well, this suddenly got dark very quickly, didn't it? I'm sorry. Uh, we'll, we'll be launching that very soon. Again, that will be available at dojo.learnjapanesepod.com but enough blah 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 from yeah, me let's, let's get to the lesson shall we <laughs> let's get to the lesson let's get to the lesson so ami sensei let's go through the lesson hi wonderful darling fantastic learn japanese pod listeners see how much you can understand see if your ear can get used to those sounds めっちゃ久しぶりやん。最近どないしてんの?相変わらずやで。そっちは。ぼちぼちやな。まあ頑張ってるで。そうなんや。うちなんか全然あかんわ。なんでな?彼氏と別れてん。え、そうな?知らん
What did you think? Did you understand that? Was that easy? Was that hard? So, Ami Sensei, could you break down the、はい、dialogue and explain what you were saying? And I'll compare that with standard Japanese dialect,、okay. if that's okay. Dozo. Sure. So, the first thing we said was, めっちゃ久しぶりやん。最近どないしてんのめっちゃ久しぶりやん。最近どないしてんの So, めっちゃ久しぶりやん。And めっちゃ you can use、um, in Tokyo dialect too, but it's, it's actually just way more common in、uh, Osaka, Ben. めっちゃ just means so much or a lot. Or, like, totally,、mm. right? And、mm. hisashiburi, and you guys probably have heard that word before. Hisashiburi is long time no see. And then young, <laughs> you know, is kind of、um, what you would add at the end、mm. to emphasize hisashiburi. So, can I try, can、mm-hmm. I, can I try the pronunciation? So、yes. Mecha, hisashiburi young. Mecha. Mecha. Mecha, hisashiburi young. Hisashiburi yang.、Mm-hmm. So the mecha goes up like mecha, mecha. Mecha, his- yeah, mecha, yeah, mecha, me- hisashiburi yang. Mecha, hisashiburi yang.、Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Okay. So it's like, hey, oh my gosh, long time no see, like long time no see. Cool. And then、um, then Alex said, Saikin donai shiten no. So Saikin is lately. Donai shiten no is. Very Osaka Ben for have you been? Okay. Saikin donai shiten no? Saikin donai shiten no? So, what's the intonation for that? Can you teach us? Sure. So, Saikin, which is very close to standard Japanese. Saikin donai shiten no? Donai shiten no? Donai shiten no? Yeah. It's very common to sort of drop the、uh, intonation at the end of the phrase、uh, okay. in Osaka Ben. So it's. Da 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 da. Donai shiten no. Donai shiten no.、Mm-hmm. Okay.、Cool. Yeah, which is kind of like the opposite, I feel like, in、um, standard dialect. Yeah, so I think in standard dialect, the first sentences would be. Mecha hisashiburi jan. Right. Or you could say like. Mecha mecha. Mecha mecha, right?、Mm-hmm. Or even, even they'll say like, Cho hisashiburi. Yeah, Cho hisashiburi jang. And then、uh, in Kansai, it's Saikin donai shiten no. Sorry, donai shiten no. Donai shiten no. Donai shiten no.、Mm-hmm. And in standard Japanese, that would be Saikin. Do shiteru no?、Mm-hmm. Do shiteru no?、Mm-hmm. Saikin do shiteru no? So、mm-hmm. that would be the standard.、Right. What was next? Next was. I kawarazu ya de, so chiwa. I kawarazu ya de, so chiwa. So,、mm. <laughs> I know. I kawarazu is same old, you know, nothing new. And then ya de, just like yan, like we used earlier、mm. to、yeah. emphasize it, right? And then so chiwa is how about you? So, in standard. Japanese,、mm-hmm. it's almost the same. Instead、yes. of ya de, we'd say da yo. Exactly. So, Ai kawarazu da yo. Ai kawarazu, same old, same old, da yo. Again, da yo just emphasizes what、mm-hmm. you were saying. Ah, you know, same old, same old.、Mm-hmm. And then sochi wa.、Mm-hmm. So, actually, the vocabulary is exactly the same. Sochi wa. So, sochi means like over there, but. Right, but it also means. It means you. You, yeah. Yeah. Is there an intonation difference between standard Japanese and Os- Osaka with Sochiwa? Sochiwa? I think it's very similar. I think it's、very、exactly similar, the、yeah. same. Yeah. Cool.、Sochiwa. So, what was next? Next was. Bochi bochi ya na. Ma, gambatte ru de. So, you may not hear everybody say bochi bochi ya na. You know, you may not hear everybody use the word bochi bochi. But、um, I thought it'd be kind of cool to include it because you might hear older people say it. I don't know.、Right. I just thought it was cool. <laughs> it's very like traditional Osaka Ben. Yeah, it's definitely some Osaka Ben you should learn. Yeah, I know.、Um, 
you can impress your friends. <laughs> mm, so, right, bochi right, right. bochi. Bochi bochi means like, you know, it's, it's steady or it's like, you know, it's okay. It's、mm. all right. And then again, yana, just like yade and、mm. yang, just emphasizes、mm. the word. Like, yana, like, I guess. Ah,、uh, that's interesting, yana. So, in standard Japanese, that would be futsu kana. Right. So, yana is in place of kana. Kana. So,、mm-hmm. in standard, you say kana. It's like,、ah, I guess. And then instead of bochi bochi,、um, yeah, we just say futsu. 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 Which literally translates to normal. Normal,、mm-hmm. normal as usual. Right.、Yeah. And then,、yeah. uh, and then uh, Alex said, Ma, ganba te ru de. I have a funny story about this. So,、uh, Ma, ganba te ru de. I think everyone knows ganba te ru means I'm doing my best. And then de is Osaka ben for yo. Yes. So, in, in standard Japanese, You'd say, yo, but、mm-hmm. in Kansai, in Osaka, you'd say, de. And I have a funny story about this because I was talking to Beb's daughter, Beb of Learn Japanese Pod fame, the first co host on、cool. the show. And her daughter's called Lin. Okay. And Lin is a super, super cool human being. And I was joking around with Lin many years ago. When she was, I think she was a shogakse when she was、mm-hmm. an elementary school student. And I was kind of being silly. And I said to her, Nihongo wakaru, like, can you understand Japanese?、Mm-hmm. As a silly, silly joke, because、mm-hmm. obviously she can. And she、yeah. said, Shitende. <laughs> Shitende. <laughs> Shitende. <laughs> oh, cute. Yes,、so、cute. it's very cute. So, so, Shitende is actually in standard Japanese, it's like, Shiteru yo. Correct. Of, so, Shiteru means. Uh, yeah, I know. And then you're, of course, of course, I know it. <laughs> but in Kansai, but s h i t e n d e So that. s h i t e n d e So I know what de means. Yeah, very good. Nice. So what was next? Next line was. So nan ya. Uchi nan ka zen zen a k a n wa. So nan ya. Uchi nan ka zen zen a k a n wa. So. So nan ya means. Oh, I see. Okay, so nan ya. And、uh, Alex, that would translate to standard Japanese is. So instead of so nan ya, it would be so nan da. Yes. So nan da. So nan da. So you just switch the ya to da. Yeah, very easy. Oh, vice versa.、Yeah. And then,、yeah. uh, Uchi nan ka zen zen a k a n wa. Uchi nan ka zen zen a k a n wa. So. Uchi is,、um, is a very commonly used term、um, by female, females.、Um, it's another way of saying watashi.、Mm. Uchi nan ka zenzen a k a n wa. So, uchi nan ka means, well, me, as for me, uchi nan ka zenzen a k a n wa. So, zenzen is totally or completely. a k a n wa. a k a n wa means. Not good, <laughs> no good. Yeah, I'm I'm not having a good day. Yeah, I'm not doing so good. Instead of uchi nan ka, zenzen a k a n wa in standard Japanese would be something like watashi nan ka, zenzen dame da yo. Yeah, <laughs> so so that's like very different, right? So very different. Instead of uchi nan ka, you say watashi、mm-hmm. nan ka. Mm-hmm. So, m- me or myself somehow, zen zen, that's the same. Dame da yo. So,、mm-hmm. it's、um, no good. Not、right? good. Not good. Not good. Okay, what,、yeah. what was next? Next line was nande na. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you guys might know, of course, the word nande, right?、Mm. Uh, means why. Now, I could,、mm. I could just say nande, why?、Mm. But adding the na at the end, nande na. Makes it a little more friendly. So, nande na, which translates to. Do shite. Right. Do shite. Do shite. So, why? Yeah, so that's standard. Yeah, why? How so? Yeah, nande na.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> And then the next line was. Kareshito wakareten. Kareshito wakareten. So, 
kareshi, which you may have heard in previous podcasts, kareshi is、uh, boyfriend.、Mm. To with wakareten. So broke up. Right. I broke up with my boyfriend. So that's an interesting verb ending, wakareten. But、right. in standard Japanese, that would be kareshi to wakareta no. Right. So, yeah, ten kind of is like a, is a statement. This happened. So I could,、um, so it's saying like, but you、mm. know, very friendly. Broke up. Broke up with my boyfriend. No. Okay, cool.、Mm-hmm. And then、uh, what happened next? Eh? So, nan? Shiran katta. Ore yatte, zenzen kanojo deki hende. Eh? So, nan? That's kind of a mouthful, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, え、そうな、like, huh? Really? 知らんかった I didn't know. 俺やって Me too, right? 俺 as in、right. like,、um, me for, for guys, right? 俺やって、yeah. 全然 again, means totally. Kanojo, girlfriend, deki hen de. I can't get a girlfriend, deki hen.、Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, de- deki, de- that's from the verb dekiru to make. Right. It's literally in Japanese, I can't make a girlfriend. Right. I can't, I can't make a boyfriend means I, I can't I get can't, one. Yeah. Can't get one. Yeah. So,、um, in standard Japanese, the, well, firstly in Osaka, Ben, you say, e so nan. So, In standard, it'll be, え、mm-hmm. そうなの、そうなの。So,、right. oh, really?、Mm-hmm. And then in Osaka, Ben, you'd say, 知らんかった。Yeah,、mm-hmm. 知らんかった、知らんかった。But in standard, it's, 知らなかった、mm-hmm. 知らなかった。I didn't know. Then what was it? You said, 俺やって would be, 俺だって。<laughs> That's pretty close.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, 俺だって。Ore date. Yeah, that's pretty close. Zen zen, zen zen, that's the same. Kanojo deki hen de. So in standard, kanojo deki nai yo. Deki yeah. Nai yo. yeah、mm-hmm. Cool. Pretty simple, then, I think. Pretty simple, yeah. yeah And then, tsukiaoka. <laughs> yeah, right. Tsukiaoka. Shall we date? Shall, maybe we should date. <laughs> shall we date? Yeah, shall yeah. we date? Maybe we should date. Or hey,、yeah. let's date. Hey, let's、Us. date. Standard would be skeo, skeo ka. <laughs> right. In standard, there would be a little,、uh, a little tsu in there.、Yeah. So it's skeo ka. Ah, skeo ka.、Mm-hmm. Right. Got、yeah. it. And finally, this is, this is like the word of the day. This is, this is like Osaka Ben turned up to 11 on the dial. Right. Dozo, dozo. Nandane. <laughs> What does that mean? That means, yeah, right. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. What, are you, what have it, you been、yeah. drinking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally, it just means,、um, why? You know, like,、yeah. why, the, why the heck? You know? Yeah.、Um, so that translates to. Nande da yo. Right. Nande da yo. Or sometimes, you know, some people, Nande yo. Yeah. Nande yo. It's、exactly. kind of like, like, what the hell are you yeah, talking about? And, yeah, and、uh, we use it a lot when,、um, you know, when people are being sarcastic, like, you know, like in this, in this dialogue, you know, sh- sh- maybe we should date, you know? <laughs>、um, so when people are being sarcastic or, you know, just being, you know, silly, you know, and,、uh, or say crazy things, then you just be like, Nandiane. Nandiane. Like, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Yep. So let's listen to that dialogue one more time and see if you can pick up on the differences in Osaka Ben and standard Japanese. めっちゃ久しぶりやん。最近どないしてんの相変わらずやで。そっちはぼちぼちやな。まあ頑張ってるで。そうなんや。うちなんか全然あかんわ。なんでな彼氏と別れてん。えそうなん知らんかった。俺やって全然彼女できへんで。付き合おうか。なんでやねん。めちゃめちゃ久しぶりじゃん
最近どうしてるの相変わらずだよそっちは普通かなまあ頑張ってるよそうなんだ私なんか全然ダメだよどうして彼氏と別れたのえそうなの知らなかった俺だって全然彼女できないよ付き合おっかなんでだよ OK, so let's focus in on、uh, three of the most useful phrases and do some drills. This will help you to improve your comprehension, speaking fluency, intonation, and pronunciation. Plus, you'll learn some useful phrases that you can use in real conversation. So here's how it works First, you'll hear the phrase in English. Then I'll say the phrase, and there will be a pause for you to repeat it out loud. We'll do each phrase three times. Easy, right? Just listen, you'll get it. Wow, it's been such a long time. めっちゃ久しぶりやん。めっちゃ久しぶりやん。めっちゃ久しぶりやん。How've you been lately? 最近どないしてんの最近どないしてんの最近どないしてんのあ、ah, same old, same old. 相変わらずやで。相変わらずやで。相変わらずやで。So, here are some other rules and vocab that will help you identify and understand Osaka Ben. Number one, negative verbs end in hen. So, in standard Japanese, if you wanted to say, I don't go, you'd say, Ikanai. But in Osaka Ben, you say, Ikahen. So, you know, the intonation's a little different, but、um, like I said, the、uh, ending. Is different. So, ikahen instead of ikanai. And here are some more examples. I don't eat in standard Japanese is tabenai, but in Osaka ben it is tabehen. Standard Japanese, wakaranai, which means I don't understand. Osaka ben is wakarahen. So, again, using hen as opposed to nai. And Hen at the end of the verb indicates a negative verb. So, you got that? Cool. Let's move on. Number two, the intonation between Osaka Ben and standard Japanese is different. Here are some examples. When you want to say, What are you doing? In standard Japanese, it would be, Nani shite ru no? Nani shite ru no? So, a lot of times we do go up、hmm. at the end of phrases for standard Japanese, whereas in Osaka Ben, it would be Nani shiten no? Nani shiten no? So it goes down. So, kind of the opposite. And Nani shiteru no? It's very like, it's very up high, you know? Nani shiteru no? Nani shiteru no? Nani shiteru no? And then Osaka Ben, like, suddenly sounds more dark. <laughs> Nani shiten no, right? Nani shiten no. A little bit more movement, right?、Um, Nani shiten no. Nani shiten no. And even a question, like, what are you doing?、Um, we, we go down at the end.、Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, cool. Cool. Yeah. Next, if,、um, you know, if you want to emphasize something you said, in standard Japanese, you would add, だよ or よ at the end of the sentence. For example, 頑張ってるよ頑張ってるよ However, in 大阪弁 that would be 頑張ってるで頑張ってるで Okay. Now, next, a very common word in 大阪弁 is ほんまに which means really. I use that a lot. And、uh, in standard Japanese, that would be, Hontoni?、Mm. Homma? 
<laughs> yeah, or just homma. Homma, homma, homma. Like, yeah, really? Yeah. You hear that all the time. All, all the time, the time yeah. all the time. Yeah. Yep. And then another very common word in Osaka Ben is akan. Akan. <laughs> Which means no way or no, can't do or that's not allowed. So the intonation kind of sounds to me like akan. Da-dum. Yeah. Yeah, akan. Right. Kind of okay. stays on the same, uh, same note. <laughs> right, interesting. <laughs> and then... Uh, you know, for example, tabetara akan yaro. Tabetara akan yaro. Or just tabetara akan. Don't eat that. You can't eat that. So, so instead of Japanese, what? Tabetara dame. Right. Tabetara dame. But in Kansai, sorry, in Osaka, it would be tabetara akan. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Tabetara akan yaro. Sounds so harsh, but uh, know, it means the same thing as tabetara dame. And cool, cool, cool. Uh, I just kind of picked out some uh, some more very commonly used Osaka bin words. Uh, first one is chout, which means it's not. <laughs> like it, it isn't. It isn't. Chow. Chow. Right, right. And then e is basically uh, e in standard Japanese. Right. So like, good, right? Which means it's good. Right, right, right. It's good. So you can say e yang. <laughs> Sounds good. E de. It is good. Ayo, it's fine. <laughs> I love, I love it. It's got such a sassy feel to it. It's like e yang. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's kind of cute, right? It's kind of cute. Yeah. yeah, I really like and that. And then, yeah. um, oh, this one's my favorite. Aho. <laughs> Aho. <laughs> yeah, which just means like silly or stupid, you know, but like a a playful way, right? So, D- do you know the Baka Aho map? No, but like. It, you no, can guess what, what it means, right? Yeah, yeah like so, how kan, Kanto people say baka and Kansai people say aho. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So um, if you're calling someone an idiot in uh, Kanto in Tokyo, you'd usually say baka, baka. Right. Or, and know, then baka. like if you say aho, they're, they're kind of offended, right? They get rid, yeah. So yeah. the really interesting thing is, so basically they, they made a map where they interviewed people and they said, <laughs> if you call someone stupid, what word do you use? Mm-hmm. And, they, and so most people in Tokyo tend to say Baka. Baka. Most people in Kansai tend to say aho. Aho. Uh, and in Nagoya, it was kind of in the middle, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but the interesting thing is in um, in Tokyo, when you say baka, it generally, it, it's like a playful thing. It's oh, you, oh, you silly person. kind of. Like, but yeah. if you say aho, it's kind of like you're really, you know, starting a fight. <laughs> But yeah. what if you call someone baka in Kansai? Is that kind of rude as well? Yeah. It's like, yeah. what did you just say? Like, <laughs> like what the beep did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you, sir? I challenge you to a duel. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> we get all like offended. Um, I got one more. Yeah, be careful. I've got one more uh, common, commonly used. Well, I should say um, a big difference in uh, Osaka Ben and yeah. standard Japanese. So the word naosu. So the word mm. naosu in uh, standard Japanese means to fix something. Okay. Right, right. Now in right. Osaka Ben, it's, first of all, it's pronounced naosu. Okay, so again, going down. Naosu. Naosu. Mm-hmm. Mm, interesting. Now it can, it can mean to fix something. But it also means to put away something. Ah, right, yeah. right, right. So there's a funny story. Like my mom, um, when she, you know, worked for this like company, big um, company back, you know, when she was younger. Right. She, uh, um, she was like talking to her boss who wasn't from Kansai, right? Right, right. And then she was like, she asked him like, do I need to, like, should I now also this, right? <laughs> Should I now also this? And he was like, right. he's like, like, what? Why are you gonna fix it? It's not broken, yeah, you know. Yeah, right. right and then she's right, like, right. no, I'm gonna now also it. I'm gonna put it away. Put it away. Yeah, and he's like, huh? Because <laughs> in standard Japanese, you'd say shimao, right? Shimao, yeah. In standard Japanese, it would be shimao, yeah, exactly. So that that's kind of I think in like a lot of countries, you have they're the same word, but they mean different things. Yeah. Again, you know, like like British English and American English. So, uh, so in in uh, in American English, you'd say suspenders mm-hmm. is basically 
Hang on, what is it? It's the piece of material that clips onto your your pants and your shirt, right? Pants, your trousers, and and it keeps your 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 pants up, right? Are and those again, not put, suspenders in the UK? But sus but in the UK, suspenders are like I think what you call like a garter, not a garter, but it's it keeps your oh like a like a lingerie, like lingerie, yeah. So it's kind of a bit. Oh, that's funny. It's a bit more sexy. I say, That's hey, funny. do you like my suspenders? Yeah. It's like, I didn't know you were wearing suspenders, Bob. <laughs> um, I don't want to see them. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, no, that's yeah. okay, Bob. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> so yeah. there are many, 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 many more rules, right, for speaking yeah, also for the band. Yeah, of course, but, of course. But um, yeah, those are just some of the most common and useful ones to learn for now. As ever, Ami Sensei, that was a wonderful lesson. Thank you very much. All of this will go, yeah, of yeah. course, in the PDF show notes. Again, this is not a comprehensive uh, guidebook to speaking perfect Osaka band, but this this is just a sampler. And I think, you know, those really, really nice examples you gave, uh, Ami Sensei, I can personally attest to the <laughs> fact that I've heard all of those oh, good. Uh, when when I was living in Osaka all the time, you know, like Chao and, you know, Akang and Eyang, right? Eyang and En Chao and Naosu, Homa, Akang. Homa, Homa, it, he, you hear that, Akang. So you hear those all the time. If you learn those, I think you'll be less confused when you go to Osaka for the first time. <laughs> right. Okay, so lovely Learn Japanese pod listeners. This is where we go slightly off the tracks and into Japanese. And uh, let's uh, chat to Ami in Japanese. Okay. Mazu desu ne. Ami sensei, ma, kyo wa yapari Osaka ben ni tsuite. Oshite itadaite masu ka. So desu ne. Ami sensei no shushin wa doko desu ka? Shushin, eto, ma, oto san to oka san wa futari tomo. 大阪出身で私も大阪に住んでいましたが住んでいましたがその後あちこち住んだことありますよねそうですねその前にいろいろ住んでたりしてでも心は大阪人です心は大阪ですねでじゃあ次の質問はですね大阪の人はどんな性格
ですかねたこ焼きも好きですけど、うん、<笑>お好み焼き<笑>お好み焼きああなるほどね OK、はい、じゃあえー、っと大阪のおすすめの観光スポットはどこでしょうかえー、っと結構ありますけど一つはやっぱりあのーうん、前にも話したことあります大阪城大阪城はおすすめですし、うんうん、えっ、ー、とあのさっき言った、うん、ハルカス阿部のハルカスもおすすめですねさっきの,あの天王寺のあはいはいはい、はいはい、新しいですしあの買い物とか食べ物とかあの食べるところいっぱいあります最近新しいデパートがめちゃくちゃありますはいあの梅田もさっき言ってた大阪 JR 大阪あたりもですね私のおすすめの観光スポットは通天閣。ああ、いいですね。それはですね、ディープ大阪。ディープです、ディープです。だからとってもいいところですね。確かに。何、ヒョウ柄のお,あのおばちゃんがいっぱいいますよ。はい、います、います。いろんな人がいますね。<笑>あとはやっぱりね、あの難波とか震災橋じゃないですか。うん、うんうん、いいところ。はい。めっちゃええところやね。めっちゃええところ<笑>。めっちゃええところやね。はい、で、最後に、えっ、ー、と、最後、お阪に行ったのはいつでしたか、あみ先生。最後に行ったのは、えっ、ー、と、12月、去年の12月と、うん、ですね、12月。はい。で、残念ながら、忙しかったので、会わなかった。そうなんですよ。ね。2019年に、あの、あ日本に来る予定ある2019年行きたいですね。ほ、うん、Come on! はい。<笑>あの、<笑>もうできる限り<笑>帰りたいと思います、うん。そうじゃなかったら、あの、僕はちょっとアメリカに行きます。あ、来ますかぜひ遊びにき。遊びに行きます。遊びに来てください。<笑>よろしく、よろしく。よろしく。<笑><笑>あ、まあ、あの、もし、まあ、アメリカに行って。だらなんかランジャパニーズポーディベントを開催すればどうですか？あ,あいいですね。そうそうそうどうでしょうか皆さん。うんどう来る来ない？来る<笑>来る来ると思う来ると思う。行く。Yay! <笑> And now here are a couple of podcast reviews. If you enjoy this podcast and want to show your support, please consider leaving a five star review on iTunes. I know it's slightly cheeky of us to ask, but If you do, it really helps us get more visibility online, and so more people will get access to it. So, Yoroshiku, Onegaishimas. Onegaishimas. Very much. <laughs>、um, so, um, uh, here are three very quick, very kind reviews. The first one is from, I love this name, Amputation of the Wrong Hand. One word from Australia writes <laughs> Thanks for your generosity to help. Many to learn Japanese in a very unique way. Hence, I use your random phrase of the week to my girlfriend and my Japanese friends. And they were amazed and they all laughed. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's great. So,、uh, please teach us about money as it has lots of zeros. Mm, 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 mm,、uh, so, oh, yeah. No, I see what you mean. Yeah. Because it's like, you know, Jumanen means a hundred thousand yen. Yeah. Numbers can be. Yeah. It's confusing. Yeah. Amputation of the wrong hand says, please keep up the amazing and fun work. Ho- hope I, I can get to meet you guys someday as I often go to Japan. Yeah, absolutely. Look us up. Send us an email at info at learnjapanesepod, amputation of the wrong hand. And、uh, we'll, we'll. I don't know if I should laugh at that or not. I know. I, 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 I feel a bit nervous about that.、Yeah. But thanks for the very, very kind review. Now, hey,、um, Ami Sensei, would you like to read the next one? Yes, would love to. So, our next review slash comment is from Sato Sato Sanju san from Japan. Looks like they are Japanese. Yes. They say, they say, Itsumo arigato gozaimas, Nihon jin desuga, ego gakshu sha na no de, ego no benkyo ni yakudachimas. Ato, volantia de Nihongo gakko no seto san ni mo, Nihongo o s h e t e iru no de, so you f u ni. 言えばいいんだと勉強になります。超おすすめです。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。さとさと三十三さん。三十三さん。thirty three さん。さとさと三十三さん。great great、uh,
Sanju san san. So, ne. Thank you so much. So, basically, Sato Sato Sanju san san says, uh, Thank you very much. I'm Japanese、um, and I'm studying English. English. So, actually, listening to this podcast is very useful for me. So, yeah, I, I have got. The occasional, I sometimes get the occasional emails from Japanese people saying that actually they learn to, they listen to Learn Japanese Pod to learn English. That's so, so that's, cool. That, that's great. And he says, I'm also volunteering、uh, at a Japanese school, teaching Japanese. Teaching Japanese. And so when we're teaching Japanese, we're obviously teaching it in English. So he knows how to teach Japanese、right. and English to his students. So he, he finds that very useful. So thank you very much. Waza waza, go boshi no review o kaite i t e d a i t e Arigato gozaimasta. Sato sato sanju san san sama. Thank you very much. And the、uh, last review is from R Mag, R M A A G from the US. And R Mag says, Alex and Amy, I love your work. I'm from Portland. Portland, Oregon, represent.、Yeah. My brother used to live there. My brother、oh, used、cool. to live there, actually. Yeah. Nice, nice, very nice town, very nice corner of the world. But I live in work in Tokyo through the JET program. Welcome to the JET program. I used to be on the JET program a million years ago. <laughs>、um, everything that I've learned and used in conversation with my Japanese friends and students has wowed them. <laughs> cool. Uh, but that wasn't because they were listening to this podcast, was it?、Uh, and I hear my students using random phrases of the week all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. So the random phrases that we're teaching, he's actually heard native Japanese people、nice. use them. That's, that's what he's saying.、Uh, please do more podcasts. I know. Gambari mas. Gambari mas. Gambari mas. Maybe one on embedded sentences. He said that.、Mm-hmm. Oh, so stuff like reported speech. Yeah. yeah.、Uh, one more using mo. So that means two. So, ringo mo,、uh, banana mo ski. And maybe yabai for the random phrase of the week. We already did that. We already yeah, we did, did yabai. We did.、Yeah. We, did. We, did. we did yabai. I think that was in the takoyaki episode, right? Perhaps. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps. But,、um, yeah. But anyway, we've done it.、Um, we've definitely done it. We've, 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 we've、yeah. already done that. But hey, Armak, thank you so much for your review. And also a huge thanks. To everyone who left reviews,、uh, sorry we couldn't read all of them on the podcast. There's not enough time, but we really, really, really appreciate your support. And it does help learn Japanese to grow. And people who haven't heard it before can start listening to the podcast. So thank you very, very much. I humbly bow in your direction. <laughs> bow. And now. The corner of the show you've been waiting for. The only reason you listen to Learn Japanese Pod, and that is. <laughs> nice. Gong, gong smash there. It's Random Phrase of the Week. Yay! So, Ami Sensei, what is Random Phrase of the Week? Okay, so in the spirit of Osaka Ben, I've come up with a,、uh, a very silly Random Phrase of the Week. It is. Ciao, ciao. Chow, 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 and chow. <laughs> <laughs> I promise it makes sense. It's a real thing. It's a, <laughs> I'm not just saying whatever random sounds that come to my mind. How many chows is it? That's about one, two, three, four, five, six, except the fifth one is a little different. So it's <laughs> chow, 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 chow. <laughs> chow, 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 and chow. Chow, 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 chow. <laughs> oh my God. Don't, 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 this is my favorite, favorite Osaka dialect thing. <laughs> chow, 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 and chow. So the first pair of chows,、um, chow, chow, just means no, no, right? Like, No, that's not,、uh-uh. that's not it. Uh uh, exactly. Uh、uh-uh. uh.、Uh-uh. Chow、yeah. chow, right? And then I said another pair of chows. Chow chow. And this time I'm talking about the dog breed chow chow. Yeah, the chow chow, right? The right, chow right. chow or the chow, right? right? The chow, right? And then, and then the last pair I said chow un chow. So that one's slightly different. Chow un is just saying、um, it isn't. Okay, so chow un、mm. is. Um, it isn't in Osaka Ben. Right. Chow, right? 
Yeah, it isn't, is it? Is it? Yeah, it isn't, is it? So that isn't a chow chow, is it? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So it's, so it's like, uh uh-uh, uh, uh uh, that isn't a chow chow, is it? <laughs> <laughs> so could you say chow chow chow? And you say, say chow chow. Yeah, you could say chow chow chow, meaning <laughs> that's a chow chow, right? But yeah, just to make it more silly and long, you just you just confuse people and be like chow 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 and chow. <laughs> You've completely so broken silly. my brain. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. That is but. the best. Anyway, Ami <laughs> Sensei, uh, ain chow. Okay, great. Great, that's it. Great, okay. great, that's it. Uh, so we'll 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 put that in the show notes, and then maybe we'll we'll add. Uh, maybe Ami Sensei can add the chow 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 to the audio dialogue later, and you can listen to that and, and practice it. If okay. anybody wants it, if you wants to. Uh, so funny. Okay, let's do a listener question. This is kind of interesting, and uh, Ami Sensei, I will ask you to answer this. Sure. Um, Also, if you have any questions you you would like answered on this podcast, fill out our quick and easy survey form, which you can find at learnjapanesepod.com slash questions. That's learnjapanesepod.com slash questions. And we get a lot of questions. Um, It's hard to answer all of them, but we will try, I promise. Okay, so here's the next question. And it is, recently I started playing games from the Ryuga Gotoku, known as Yakuza in the States. It's a series of games, um, and he's playing it for fun, and he wanted to see how much of the language he could understand. So in Ryuga Gotoku, mm-hmm. the game setting is split between Kamuro-cho, which is a fictional version of Kabuki-cho, <laughs> Kabuki-cho? Okay. and Sotenbori, the fictional analog of Doton body, <laughs> which That's is kind of funny. funny. Yeah. yeah. And while I'm still a beginner, I can hear some differences in pronunciation between Tokyo and Osaka. Cool. Can you do a dedicated episode of the differences in regional dialect? Like why in Osaka you might hear Majima Han instead of Majima San and so on. We've already done it. Yay. Yeah. We've answered the question. <laughs> also, it would be fun to hear some personal opinions or just general info about tough guy Japanese, like introducing yourself with Orewa instead of Watashiwa or something like Bokuwa. Mm-hmm. Is there a specific lexicon of tough guy language used by women or do badass ladies just use the masculine language and give no bleeps? Bleep. Um, arigatou gozaimasu. Jane. <laughs> like the way <laughs> like you finished it. Jane. Jane. Yeah, yeah. So first of all, um, I think we've covered the so we've covered some of the Osaka, Tokyo. Some of the differences. Yes. Not everything. Um just just a quick thing. Um what's ma- so, so so Majima like, san would be ma- yeah. you know, Mr. or Mrs. Majima. What's Majima Han? So it means the exact same thing. And um I think it originates in Kyoto. Mm. Um, but it it just means the same thing, and um, yeah, I've I've he- definitely heard people in Osaka say Han instead of Sang, uh, you know. So like cool. Mister Majima, but um, yeah, just I think it's just like um, just an an older way of saying it. Um, oh, so it's kind of a bit more old school then. Yeah, it's it's definitely more old school. Okay, oh, that's interesting. So cool. yeah, um, and you'd hear like you know like um, older men and. Um, it mostly older men say. It. I don't think I've heard yeah. women say it. Yeah, that's so, interesting. Um, yeah, yep, yeah, that's the uh, that's kind of the um, background. And okay, then, cool, um, cool, cool. Yeah, and then in terms of um, um, orewa, like when you would say orewa, mm. um, you would use orewa if you are a guy, and um, mm. probably you know when you're talking to your friends. So you definitely don't want to use orewa. Um, mm-hmm. in a polite context. So if you're speaking yeah. Keigo, speaking to um, mm. someone elder than you, someone for the first time, you definitely wouldn't say orewa. Mm, 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 mm. Um, you would say boku wa or watashi wa, right? Yeah. If when in doubt, just use watashi wa. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And um, yeah, and women, uh, you know, like will never <laughs> say orewa. Um, instead, right, right. we would we may say um, uchiwa. Now that's mm. for um, you know people from the Kansai area. 
Right. So, right, right. like in the dialogue, you might say, um, I might say uchiwa instead of watashiwa. Cool, cool. Mm-hmm. Nice. Um, I think um, another thing with tough guy Japanese, that that's a big subject, and we'd need to do like a whole podcast on it. Yeah. Um, just just from personal experience, I do know the kind of the three levels of I. So watashi boku ore. So I, I've heard. Some foreigners, mm-hmm. I should say me, try to use ore, and then they're stopped by the Japanese and say, you're not an ore, you're a boku. <laughs> it's, it's, like, st- it's kind of like, you don't sound rough enough to use ore, you should yeah. use boku. But um, even boku is kind of used more by kids a lot. Yeah. Um, and generally speaking, like I, be, be, just be careful with using watashi or any pronouns about yourself. Generally people don't use it that much i mean obviously when you're reading manga you're going to see orewa a lot but it's more really used to show that the character is being a tough guy but um i don't know where i'm going with this but yeah orewa is kind of rougher boku is a little more polite and watashi wa is very polite Mm -hmm. but again you don't actually use it that much again this is a huge topic that we can't really do justice to it now but maybe we'll do that in the future but um thank you very much for the question arigatou gozaimashita arigatou gozaimashita Okay, just a couple of useful links for you before we finish. Don't forget to visit our main website at learnjapanesepod.com. You can listen to and download all of the podcasts, all of the audio drills, the PDF show notes and all the previous episodes absolutely everything again don't forget you can join our discord server slash live chat app by clicking on the link that says chat at the top of the website at learnjapanesepod.com or send me an email at info at learnjapanesepod.com i will send you an invite so come along and hang out with the other members and practice your japanese and for those of you who want to study japanese in a little more depth you can try our online courses at the dojo and that's dojo.learnjapanesepod.com d-o-j-o.learnjapanesepod.com we've got a free teach yourself hiragana course and a five-day perfect japanese self-introduction course so check it out it'll teach you how to give a really nice self-introduction in natural flawless japanese and you can find us on twitter at twitter.com slash japanese podcast and you can find us on facebook if you just do a search for learn japanese pod and finally Mm -hmm. feel free again to email me at info at learn japanese pod.com i love getting your emails questions comments complaints Uh, (laughs) let me know what's on your mind um ask a japanese study question just let me know what you're thinking um it's always good to talk to you via email uh, even better on the discord server so yoroshiku onegai itashimasu and finally here's a little motivational point for you perhaps one of the most effective ways to make progress in japanese or become a master of any skill is regular practice Mm -hmm. and the use of a skill over a long time. I know a lot of you send me emails and messages saying that you're feeling overwhelmed and you're a little confused as what to study next, but just set yourself small realistic goals, Mm -hmm. break them down into small easy steps and keep at it every day. It's much better to practice Japanese for only five minutes a day every day Mm -hmm. rather than a crazy marathon 10 hour session or one day a month Mm -hmm. so just trust me keep at it keep to your plan and you will get there if the only thing you do is listen and repeat the dialogues in this podcast out loud every day i promise you you will make progress and we're here to help i remember what it was like to be a beginner in japanese be positive Mm -hmm. you can do it just a little every day. So, mainichi nihongo benkyo shimashou. Minasan, kono podcast kite itadaite, honto ni arigatou gozaimashita. Arigatou gozaimashita. Ami sensei. 
、はい、いろんな面白い大阪弁教えていただいて<笑>本当に誠にありがとうございました超楽しかったいえいえ楽しかったですねあごめんごめんあのめっちゃ楽しかったね<笑>めっちゃ楽しかったね<笑>だから次のポッドキャスト楽しみにしてますはい皆さん日本語一生懸命頑張ってくださいバイ。